Good morning. The goal for today is to get our system protected from surges, whether they're surges from lightning, other electrical sources, or EMPs. We want to protect our sensitive electronics. So what I've done is I've purchased three surge protectors from Midnight Solar and these are each designed to be installed in a specific location. Now the one I have in my hand is a 300 volt DC and that's going to be installed in our charge our combiner box to protect the load side of our charge controller. Then I have a 115 DC that will be installed on the DC side of our uh, inverter and a 300 AC to be installed on the AC side of the inverter and that will actually be installed here in the breaker box. So this is our inverter. This is called a switch gear and the, uh, inside the switch gear is actually the DC wiring or access to the DC wiring for the inverter. So the first thing I have to do is Re disconnect the system, remove these two breakers, and put a, a second square lug right there in the corner, similar to what you see on that side right there, and then the positive uh, wire from the surge protector will then be hooked up to there. The negative will, of course, go to the negative bus bar, and the ground will go to the ground bus bar. So that's the first step. So I took the positive bus bar out, I installed this second square lug up here, reinstalled the bus bar, and now I'm going to take out this knockout on the side in order to mount the surge protector right there. Okay, after removing the knockout, I'm able to thread the three wires through the knockout being sure to place the rubber washer, which is included with the uh, surge protector, on the outside of the, break of the uh, combiner box and on the inside, securing it with a wire nut. Now I'm just threading the, uh, the wires to the appropriate bus bars. According to the instructions, you want to keep the wires as short as possible and as free of kinks and or sharp turns as possible. Having never done anything like this before, I was definitely taking my time trying to make a neat job of it, and uh, it turned out pretty good. The next one, of course, if I ever do this again, it'll go ten times faster. So now I've secured the ground as well as the negative bus bars and I'm just feeding the positive wire up to that square lug that I just installed, stripping back the wire and we'll secure that down to the square lug. And it should be good to test. We'll find out. I should get two blue lights here. Here goes nothing. There they are. Two blue lights. I don't know if you can see that yet or not. Let me see if I can bring you in a little closer. So those are the two LEDs that I was talking about. And there you can see the wiring a little more clearly. Pretty simple job. I think this is probably going to be the easiest of all three. So I'm going to get set up for the next one and I'll come back to you. Okay, it's the next day and I'm going to tackle the uh, remaining two SPDs, surge protection devices from Midnight Solar. The first one I'm going to put in is going to be on the DC side of the inverter and it's a 115 uh, surge protector. And after a little bit of consultation with a friend of mine who is better versed at this than I, it's going to be connected as following. I'm going to use a knockout on a knockout up top here. There's a one and a half, or pardon me, there's a small knockout available right up there. 
Uh, then I have my DC ground bus bar is back there. The negative bus bar is here, and then that empty square lug right there is going to receive the positive from the SPD. So let me get started. So this is the location of the AC side of the inverter, and it's going up to connections L1, L2, and the ground bus bar. Now I'm going to replace the uh, service panel, hook this thing up, and see if we got it going. So I've got the system powered up, and as you can see, the surge protector on the combiner box is functioning. The surge protector on the DC side of the inverter is functioning, and the surge protector on the AC side of the inverter is not working. I wasn't sure why, so I just got off the phone with Northern Arizona Wind and Sun. Logan was my customer service, or I should say technician, and the guy's great. He always has a lot of time for me and answers the questions. The problem I made was I used the existing L1 and L2 that I showed you in the previous clip, and those were actually AC inputs not outputs. That's why there's nothing, no power getting to this. So he recommended that I put it in the breaker box before the 60 amp breaker. So that's what I'm going to do. So I've installed the SPD on the breaker box like I had originally planned. And I ran the positive and negative lines to a 60 amp double pole breaker and the green ground wire over to the grounding bus bar. So everything is now functioning as it should. The diodes or LEDs are lit. I'm going to button this up and we'll wrap up this video. Okay, that's it for the installation of the uh, surge protectors from Midnight Solar. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment box below. I do have one final word that I want to get off my chest. And that phrase or word is customer service. If you're comfortable installing things yourself if you know a lot about them then by all means shop for the best price why not if you are ever going to need any advice or any support after the sale you better consider who you're buying from in the first place because you're, if you need customer service if you need tech support you're going to want someone on the other end of that line that one picks up two knows what they're talking about three if they don't know what they're talking about they'll find out and get back to you it's really important. I can't say enough about Northern Arizona wind and sun. I've been uh, working with a gentleman, his name is Logan. He's been absolutely awesome. He was the one who gave me advice with regards to location of where the surge protector should be installed. And when I ran into trouble, I was able to pick up the phone, give him a call. He answered and walked me through it. Fantastic customer service, really two thumbs up for Northern Arizona's wind and sun. Uh, the owner, David, is also fantastic. I've spoken to him once on the phone for about 15 minutes. I did have an issue with our inverter. Uh, tried to contact Schneider Electric to get the problem resolved, or should I say to begin a warranty claim. And unfortunately, the only way for an end consumer to deal with Schneider Electric is via email and a web form. There is no telephone number that you as an end consumer can call and have someone pick up the phone and begin the process of a warranty claim. So I filled out the web form. They said, the web form said, two business days, we'll get back to you. I called David over at Northern Arizona Wind and Solar, sorry, Wind and Sun, and he immediately sent a uh, new inverter out for me so that I could get up, up and running as quickly as possible. He also then organized a telephone number with Schneider where I could call and begin the warranty claim process. And once I had that number, things actually went along rather quickly. I called on a Wednesday morning, and by, I think it was Saturday, it might have been Friday even, I had the new inverter from Schneider. If David hadn't organized that number, who knows how long it would have taken. So I want to give big thanks to David, Arizona, Northern Arizona Wind and Sun, and a eh to Schneider Electric. Once they got uh, the process rolling, it was quick, but I am not a real fan of that type of customer service or lack thereof. So consider who you buy from. 
and uh, sometimes the best price is not the lowest price. Sometimes the best price is the best value, and there is certainly value to be placed on excellent customer service. That's it for my rant. Any questions, let me know. Believe me, I am not an electrician. I am not a, an electrical engineer. I was very concerned about this installation insofar as I didn't want to screw it up. But luckily, with the support of these two companies, I was able to get it done myself. And now, uh, let the monsoon season begin. Thanks again. We'll see you in the next video.